Hi, my name is Mandy Buchanan and I am the owner of the Go Deeper Bible Studies blog. And in this series, we are going through a course on the gospel and the stars. And most of the information for this course is taken from this book, The Witness of the Stars by E.W. Bullinger. Now, this book is actually in the public domain, so you can get it from Project Gutenberg but it is also available on Amazon and on Google Playbooks. So you can get it there and follow through and learn more about this amazing subject. In today's video, we are going to be having a look at the sign of Pisces. Now, Pisces is the two large fish which are held together by a band. Now, the band is actually a separate decan in the sign of Pisces and along with this there are also the decans of Andromeda and Cepheus. Now two stars in Pisces are Octa in Hebrew meaning united and El Samaka which means the upheld and these refer to Isaiah 41 verses 8 to 10 which I'll read from the New International Version. But you, Israel, my servant Jacob, whom I have chosen, you descendants of Abraham, my friend, I took you from the ends of the earth, from its farthest corners I called you. I said, you are my servant, I have chosen you and have not rejected you. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Now moving to the band, we see that the band is around the two fishes and it is also around the neck of the sea monster, Cetus. And it's being held by the ram, Aries. Now what this band symbolizes is that Jesus, our Redeemer, has come to set the captives free. Those fish that are bound on this earth will one day be set free for a heavenly kingdom. And at the same time, the sea monster, which represents Satan, will be tightly bound and cast into the outer pits. The third decan in the constellation of Pisces is that of Andromeda. Now Andromeda is a chained queen sitting in the heavens and her hands and feet are bound but in the Dendera zodiac she was known as Set meaning set up as a queen. In Hebrew she is Sarah meaning the chained and Persia the stretched out. There are 63 stars in this constellation. Some of these or Alpha, which is in the head and is also called Alpharic, meaning the broken down. Beta in the body is called Mirach, meaning the weak. Other stars are Malch or Al Amak, meaning struck down. Ethel, the, the afflicted. Mizar, the weak. And Almara, the afflicted. And this is spoken of in the prophecy in Isaiah 54, verse 11 to 14, and Isaiah 51, verses 21 to 52, verses 3. I'll read Isaiah 54, verse 11 to 14. Afflicted city, lashed by storms and not comforted, I will rebuild you with stones of turquoise, your foundation with lapis lazuli. I will make your battlements of rubies, your gates of sparkling jewels, and all your walls of precious stones. All your children will be taught by the Lord, and great will be their peace. In righteousness you will be established. Tyranny will be far from you. You will have nothing to fear. Terror will be far removed. It will not come near you. And Isaiah 51 verses 21 to 52 verses 3. Therefore hear this, you afflicted one, made drunk but not with wine. This is what your sovereign Lord says, your God who defends his people. 
See, I've taken out of your hand the cup that made you stagger. From that cup, the goblet of my wrath, you will never drink again. I will put it into the hands of your tormentors, who said to you, Fall prostrate, that we may walk on you. And you made your back like the ground, like a street to be walked on. Awake, awake, Zion, clothe yourself with strength. Put on your garments of splendor, Jerusalem, the holy city. The uncircumcised and defiled will not enter you again. Shake off your dust. Rise up, sit in throne, Jerusalem. Free yourself from the chains on your neck, daughter Zion, now a captive. For this is what the Lord says. You were sold for nothing. And without money you will be redeemed. And so in this queen we see the redeemed of God, that though we were captives, he came to set us free. The last deacon that we're going to look at today is that of Cepheus, the king reigning in the heavens. And his name in the Dendera Zodiac was Pekuhor which means, this one cometh to rule. And in Hebrew, he, sorry, in Greek, he is known as Cepheus, which comes from a Hebrew word meaning the branch. And we know that the branch, we've seen in other videos, relates to Christ. So we see here a picture of Christ, the king, coming to rule, and that he will set his people free and the release the redeemed from their chains that we have seen in Andromeda. There are three main stars in this Deccan. Alpha is called Alderaman and means coming quickly. Beta is called Alpharic in Arabic which means the Redeemer. And the last one is al Ru, which means which bruises or breaks. And we've seen how in Genesis we are told that the serpent bruises Jesus' heel, but that Jesus will crush him under his feet. And this sign of the King in the heavens represents Jesus. So I trust that you've enjoyed today's look at the constellation of Pisces and that it has helped teach you more about what God wants to teach us in the heavens. Thank you for being with us today. If you've been following this channel, you'll realize that I haven't been able to post as regularly as I would like and I hope to post again soon. But until then, I'd just like to encourage you as well, if you haven't yet signed up for our Udemy course, I'll leave a link to that below. And feel free to go through that course and learn more uh, about typology in the Old Testament tabernacle. And I will be back as soon as I can. Thank you and goodbye.